So welcome back everyone, Mike here. It is another beautiful day here in Western Pennsylvania. It's Friday evening right now and I actually took the last two days off of work to try to get a few things done around here. You know, took a couple vacation days. And yesterday was a pretty good day. I got a lot of things accomplished. Today, I got absolutely nothing done around here. It was just one of those days. First thing this morning, they showed up and they installed the gutters on the new building. They did a fantastic job. They're only here about two hours and I got some footage that I'll show you here in just a bit of them working in that seamless gutter machine. Fascinating tool that they have there. You know, one run across the back of that building, 72 or 74 feet long, one continuous run, all out of the back of a trailer, which is pretty cool. But anyway, like I said, it's Friday evening right now, and what happened between then and now was I was real busy with some work calls, had some things going on on a job that I was working on, and uh, even though I was on vacation today, I had to drive to Ohio to go get my eyes on a few things and get some things straightened out, and I just got home. So I should kind of tear into things right now, but I'm going to run daughter Eva over to the gym, and then what I'm going to do after that, we're going to go for a little ride in the Ranger. I haven't even been out in the woods for, I don't even know how long, a week or two, and the leaves are turning. It's just a beautiful day out. And I want to get a look at some maple trees down in Maple Grove. You know, they say sometimes you need to stop and smell the roses. Well, tonight we're going to stop and go look at some leaves before we do anything else. I am down here at what we call Maple Grove starting to get some nice color but it needs about another week or so you can kind of see tops are showing some reds there's some orange and red over that way yeah I'd say about another week they should be you know just about at their peak in this area now it's kind of funny the trees that are like the edge of fields things like that they seem to turn quicker than the ones back in the woods. Now, when I was over in Ohio today, I took several pictures. I'll show you them now. But uh, it's really a, just a beautiful time of year here. And I'll tell you what, on the way down here, right behind our house, you know, that whole area there, it's nothing but a bunch of big red oaks and white oaks, few cherries. But there are more acorns on the ground and falling than I have seen in years. Just driving in the Ranger, you could hear, you know, running them over. They're cracking, but there's just millions of them on the ground. 
and they're still falling. It is a bumper crop of nuts this year. Well, we're going to head back up to the house now. And I'll show you the uh, gutters that they installed today and how they did that. It was pretty cool. All right, we're back up here at the house. And as you can see, uh, we have gutters now. They're five inch gutters. And all they do is run them down and a couple feet out. I'm gonna have to take care of these uh, pretty quick. You know, bury a pipe and get that water out of here because that roof is huge. That'll produce a lot of water. It'll be going everywhere down here. So that's something I'd like to work on this weekend. Now what I did, uh, we've got downspouts, that corner back there, this one here, one off the porch roof over there, and one off the back corner. I am going to put a tank in at some point, uh, you know, like a rain collection system, and just use the two downspouts on this end of the building. Uh, we had talked, it didn't occur to me at first, but... Uh, you know, running everything this direction, but the building's so long, it'd be hard to get the right fall, you know, when they hung the gutters. So I'll just be able to draw off of this side of the building over here, which will be fine. I mean, the amount of rain that we normally get around here, uh, it'll make a lot of water. It will. This one off the porch roof, you know, it's going to get everything from up top all the way down. And the one on the back side it will get water from about the halfway point of the building that direction. But anyway, I want to show you a little bit of footage of the setup they had to make these gutters. It was pretty cool. Oh, yeah, that's pretty slick. Seventy two foot of gutter in uh, just a couple minutes.
That's a pretty slick machine right here. KWM Gutterman.
So this end down here was on grade. However, since I decided to go with uh, radiant floor heat, I need to take it down about two inches, which is good because that corner over there, I need some fill over there. I was using the uh, rear blade on the MX-5400. I think what I'll do now is hop on the BX and use the box blade. I can get a little closer to the wall. And then that fill that I took up that way, I can push it up, you know, further and roll it in. Right, we're getting there tomorrow I'll get some light in here so I can work late tomorrow night I got a little bit of work to do at the brick house in the morning and then I want to get up here digging these uh, drains for the downspouts outside and then we'll get this on grade in here and start digging the lines for the plumbing and stuff in here but anyway that's it for today's video like always say if you enjoy these videos please hit the like button click subscribe and share them with your friends thanks